Hello. In this session, we are going to talk about the next stage, which is your validate stage. So in the last session, we spoke about your init stage, which can be used to initialize your Terraform code. Now in this session, we will talk about the validate stage, which can be used to validate your Terraform code for any syntactical errors. Before we start off with this session, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started with this. So the validate stage uh, can be used to validate all the configuration files or basically, you know, check the syntax of the Terraform code that you have written. So for this, we can use the uh, Terraform validate command. So whenever we run this command, what Terraform will do is Terraform will read the configuration files and make sure all the syntax is correct. If you are referring the configurations file properly or properly or not, if you have the provider block and all that necessary information. All right, so this will validate all the configuration files in the working directory, referring only to the configuration and not accessing any remote services such as remote state, provider APIs, etc. So, like I said, we use the Terraform validate command for this. Now, this will validate. So whenever we run the command, this will verify whether the configuration is syntactically valid or not. And all the in, uh, internally consistent, right? Basically, the code is internally consistent or not, regardless of any provided variables or existing state. So it is thus primarily useful for the general verification. So before we execute the code, it's a good practice to validate to make sure we don't have any errors in the so it's primarily useful for the general verification of the reusable modules including correctness of the attribute names and value types so if you are using the right attribute names or not whether it is pointing to the right values or not for all that validation we can make use of this terraform validate command so here let me show you an example so here this is the uh, code we have the main.tf file now for now if i run the terraform validate command over here so what this will do is this will go and validate my main.tf file and this will tell whether all the configuration within this file is right or not so you can see here it says success the configuration is valid but let's say uh, i make some mistake so maybe here uh, for example this one itself or i'm missing a code all right so now if i run the terraform validate command once again you will see that it will throw me an error so basically i'm validating so this is telling me i'm having a syntactical error so here you can see quotes strings may not be split over multiple lines so it, it is telling me there's some problem with my quotes and which line is having the issue that also so let's go and fix that and so here the double quotes or let's say I have not used the instance type. So let's comment this out and let's look at the Terraform validate once again. And you can see it says missing required argument. So instance type. So one of instance type or launch template must be specified. So like this, we can make use of the uh, Terraform validate to validate the code to make sure whether um, uh, everything is specified or not or we do not have any syntactical errors and like i said this is not really worried about the spacing so we can specify it like this also it does not really worry about that but this is only from the reader's perspective to make sure you know uh, it's uh, readable we uh, from uh, other readers perspective so you can see it says the configuration is valid so this is where we can make use of the terraform validate command just to validate the uh, terraform code for any syntactical error or for the attribute names or the argument names if it is valid or not that's all for this session once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.